Okay, today on Chris Does What? This Jeep stopped working. So my son was driving it and he went through a stoplight, shifted from first to second, and the engine just revved. Um, I think this, since it's a hydraulic clutch, it is uh, maybe a problem with the master or slave cylinder on the hydraulic clutch. But if it gets into the clutch itself or the transmission, I'm just probably going to take it in. I've worked on automatic transmissions and that's just a torque converter. And, uh, but I've never worked on the internals of a transmission and I really don't want to. So I'm going to go through a few steps on troubleshooting this to see if, if I can find the problem. This is a 16 year old's car, so I imagine he doesn't check fluids. Okay, so here's the clutch. Now push it. It seems fairly easy to push with hand, by hand. My son did notice uh, uh, pressure changes in the clutch before it went out. So I think that may just be a fluid problem. Here is the master cylinder for the clutch right here. This is where you add the fluid. Of course, this is um, brakes, but this is all we're worried about here. So this is not combined brake uh, clutch. Some of them do combine it. It was low, so I went ahead and, and topped it off. And um, still, no, no movage when you put it in gear. So I might have to crawl into this uh, Jeep and uh, I may have to just bleed off the slave cylinder, see if it uh, moves. So let's go check that now. <laughs> Okay, so look in here. Here is our slave cylinder, right here. Can you go ahead and press the clutch? Oh. Okay, you press that? Yeah. I'm press it. Re release. Okay, press again. Release. Okay, so I feel it moving here. So, should be working, but uh, I don't know if it's actually pulling the, uh, the fork to actually disengage the clutch from the pressure plate, or, or in, uh, release the clutch to the pressure plate. So I guess I can take this off, see how much oil dribbles out, and uh, that'll be it. Okay, so went down there, pulled off the master cylinder, um, and then I had him push the uh, clutch in, Brandon pushed the clutch in, and that, of course, pushed out. So there was no problem with the master or slave cylinder. Um, I then pushed, of course, it manually back in, dumping oil all over my head, uh, uh, hydraulic fluid all over my head and um, stuck it back in and that seemed to fix it. Now we can start it, put it in gear and let out the clutch and it seems to want to die. So it's engaging, um, the clutch is engaging to the flywheel applying power to our transmission and our drivetrain. Uh, can't tell you why it started working. Maybe when I pulled the, the slave cylinder out of the transmission, it was binded and that released it and then I put it back in. It may, the problem may occur again, but I have some idea of what direction to start moving in the first place. Okay, so we did take this Jeep for a test drive and um, I thought it worked fine, 
My son said the clutch was a lot smoother, so I imagine when I took off the slave cylinder, there was something in there binding, and that was causing the issue. So, taking out the slave cylinder worked, nothing was leaking, and uh, the problem was, when you would uh, put in gear and lay off the clutch, the clutch was not uh, engaging with the flywheel and now it seems to work better than it did before. He said it's a lot smoother and uh, it just operates so much better. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's right down there, looks like this. And y'all please take care. Also, if you have feedback on what, uh, what could have caused this problem and me just removing the slave cylinder fixed it, Leave that down below too, because like I said, I am a, a noob to manual transmissions. I've worked on automatic, but manual and the clutch and lining it up and taking it apart is a mystery to me. I've never worked on one. Y'all please take care.